Well, Democratic and Republican lawmakers held their annual congressional baseball game in a show of unity one day after gunmen who had posted anti-Trump messages opened fire on Republican pra Republicans practicing for the charity event. VOA congressional reporter Catherine Gibson has more. A pause from politics for one night. The divisions between Democrats and Republicans forgotten on the baseball field as a friendly rivalry became a tribute to Representative Steve Scalise, wounded along with four others just hours before the game. Steve Scalise, this hat's for you. After observing a moment of silence, Scalise's Democratic counterpart said the game sent a clear message. I think what you see is a determination that a violent act is not going to dissuade us or people from continuing with their lives. A heavy security presence didn't stop fans from filling the stands, setting record numbers in a show of support for the lawmakers they work alongside. We're a big family up on the hill at the end of the day, despite all our arguments and disagreements. And with many wearing the purple and gold of Scalise's home state team. It was nice for everybody to come together today, you know, good people. Hopefully the good will outweigh the bad. It's just been a lot of bad lately. Despite often contentious political debate, the decades-old Washington tradition has always brought Capitol Hill lawmakers together. You got a bunch of middle-aged guys and gals out there trying as best they can, uh, and it's a really spirited competition. And while the game gave many opportunities for hope, Sanford wondered if the shooting would be a turning point. For us to be a civil society, an open society, we have to be able to engage vehemently with each other. Say, I 100% disagree with you, but, but not hate the person. A summer tradition that couldn't be stopped, giving every person in this park a moment of unity to remember as the country moves forward. Catherine Gibson, VOA News, Nationals Park.